This is part two of our introduction of Clara Bell, Aeolian Skinner, Opus 1457b. In this video, we will demonstrate her physical layout and tonal resources. This organ has 19 stops derived from only two ranks of pipes, a gedeckt and a spitzflute, or spelled in German on this organ as Spitzflöte. Although there are only two ranks of pipes, some stops use slightly different names to reflect different pitch levels. For example, the gedeckt at 16 and 8 foot pitch calls itself Rohrflöte at the 4 foot pitch and Rohrnasat at the 2 and 2 thirds pitch. Likewise, the Spitzflute, normally at 8 foot pitch, calls itself Spitzquent at the 1 and 1 third pitch. The lowest six notes of the 16 foot Gedeckt are served by an offset chest. The remaining pipes are on the main chest. The winding and power supply are under the chest. The Gedeckt pipes begin with low C in the 16 foot range here on this offset chest. And the first six pipes are there and then they continue on the main chest in the center rear. Work their way to the right and then wrap around to the front of the chest all the way back to the left. The spitz flute pipes begin in the rear center of the main chest. Four Haskell pipes and then the regular spitz flute pipes they work their way to the far left and then work their way back across on the center row of pipes. The Gedeckt gently changes tonal character as you proceed up the scale, becoming more like a chimney flute in the alto range. Notice the chimneys on the mid-range pipes. The spitz flute changes tonal character toward a gim's horn quality as it ascends. The two stops are different, yet complementary. It is possible to register them alongside each other in just about any configuration. The result is a satisfying sound on a very useful practice organ. So that's Clara Bell. I hope you enjoyed meeting her. 
please come visit anytime. Be sure to watch part one of this short series on her history and her move into this house. Thanks for watching.